Hey what's up guys, this is Saman here from Expert Gadgets and welcome to another episode of Best Android Games. And this time it's the month for November. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming content. And now, let's get this video started. First up, we have Bad North. Bad North is a premium RTS roguelike that contains striking art and exceptional strategic gameplay. The gameplay revolves around real-time mechanics where survival is often the best victory condition you can hope for. The game offers a unique setup where each island in the game is procedurally generated, which means each playthrough should offer a unique experience. Next up, we have Adrenaline. Adrenaline is a free, fun, fast-paced car game where players are racing against the clock. Here, you'll have to control high-speed vehicles to cross the finish line as fast as possible without hitting the obstacles in the way. The controls are pretty straightforward. There's the steering on the left-hand side and an accelerator button on the right. And your job is to hold on to that accelerator button and navigate your way to the finish line and try to beat the given times. There are a total of 8 cool cars that you can customize, and 9 exciting and challenging tracks to race. Overall, it's a great game to pass your time and challenge your friends. Next up, we have slide 4. Here, your objective is to slide each tile to form a group of 4 tiles or more, and collect contained items. You can group them by type, and a tile can only be moved if adjacent to empty spaces. When you group four or more tiles, the goods they contain can be collected and they become blocks. To collect more than four tiles, it is necessary to place them carefully, because when you slide the last one, you may form a block of four unwanted tiles that could make it impossible to proceed in the match. So in order to win, you'll have to use logic and plan ahead. So all in all, this is a great strategy game that's fun to play. Next up, we have Tetsuri. Tetsuri is a very unique game. Unlike other games, this doesn't take much of your time. In fact, you're only given one task, and the task is to pick a direction in a Tetris match where you also play with other players. Due to this being a multiplayer game, every moment in this game is 20 minutes, so everyone can take their time. You can also help others decide every move on this game, and even challenge yourself to see who got the best solutions in tough situations. So I'd say why not give this one a try, because to see other players making some stupid mistakes is kind of fun. And this game definitely doesn't take much of your time. Next up, we have the King of Fighters All-Star. This is the latest release from Netmarble that offers a side-scrolling brawler with in-app purchases and gacha mechanics. The graphics are superb, though the gameplay is lacking since all you do is tap on a few buttons. And just as you would expect, the skill isn't necessary to play, though a large wallet will indeed allow for a faster advancement over those playing for free. Co-op is also included, so at least the game offers some incentive to build a powerful team. But all in all for a free game, it's pretty much fun to play. Next up, we have Oddmar. Now I've played Oddmar on iOS for some time, but I had no idea it already came out in Android 2. So for those people who haven't played it, here you control an enormous viking protagonist, a shelfless little oaf, who is pressed into duty when his entire village disappears. 
He is granted a mystical power by the forest creatures that allows him to jump around by throwing down mushrooms. But in exchange, he has to also save the great forest from evil creatures. All in all, the graphics are great and the gameplay is amazing. And it's a good game to play. Next up, we have T-Tiny Online. This is a latest open world MMO to arrive on the Play Store, though it's currently in early access, so expect a few bugs. It would seem the story revolves around overcoming the Tower of Despair by exploring dungeons with players from around the world. So far the graphics are pleasing, though there is a clear anime theme to the design. So if you're looking for a new MMO to explore, it may be nice to get in the ground floor of T-Tiny Online while you can. Next up, we have Soccer Manager 2020. This is another soccer management game where you will fill the role of the team's management to lead them to victory. So if you enjoy taking command of training sessions, transfers, squad selection, squad numbers, and team tactics, then you will want to take a look at Soccer Manager 2020 to see if it's the right one for you. Next up, we have American Dad Apocalypse Soon. This is the latest clone of Fallout Shelter, and of course it contains an American Dad theme. It'll be your job to build an underground base by gathering an army of Roger clones that can be used to take back control of Earth and save the Smith family. At its core, this is a gacha game, so collecting different Roger personas is key, which is why you will have to train and equip them to ensure success. Next up, we have Penguin's Isle. This game takes the recognizable core of an idle game and splashes it up with some really pretty visuals and a calming atmosphere that complements the simple mechanics. You'll start out with a lone habitat, though it won't be long before you've created a sizable colony of penguin pals. All the different penguins have their own jobs or skills, with builders, fishermen, and farmers among them. And to be honest, this game has been one of the more enjoyable, worthwhile idle games I've played recently. Next up, we have Ordia. Ordia is one of the better games to take on the mantle of slingshotting games, and thankfully a free-to-play version has landed on the Play Store. All you have to do is slingshot your way from one end of the stage to another, but of course, once you make it to some of the later levels, you better believe that you'll have to contend with more than one of few obstacles as you navigate your way through your goal. So that was it for this video guys, do leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming content. And as always, thanks for watching, this is Saman, signing out.